Okay, this is going to be my first very candid video. Uh, I'm going to borrow a popular YouTube concept called Draw Your Life. Uh, and I'm going to draw out a story of four different people. I'll call them A, B, C, and D because I don't want to use real names. Um, this starts out when, about when I graduated high school. Uh, I was a member of a, a, a close-knit group of friends. Uh, we were so close that um, we had a catchy nickname. Uh, so we graduated and then we all went off to college, but we, we stayed close friends. Um, and basically what we do is get together during our summers and our time off um, after that. So I found it difficult to stay in touch with friends um, for several years while them and I worked and, and went to school. And basically all we had was online conversation. Um, and then years went by and it, it just got tougher to talk to people uh, because of the time spent apart. So person A is myself. Um, and you know, during high school, um, these, these people and I would party all the time. We'd have fun all the time. Um, we were, we're all very popular uh, and very personable people. Um, but high school was a very crazy time. Um, so we all, we all graduated and, and went off to college. Um, I ended up in a serious relationship with a girl there my freshman year. Um, and like a year later, we broke up. And, um, you know, soon after that, I realized that I had a mental illness. Um, and then, you know, I would, I had to finish school and, and go to work and then uh, get treatment for the mental illness at the same time. Uh, so this this led to a, a several year period of of not seeing my friends. So eventually, um, on the advice of a therapist, I joined Facebook and YouTube, uh, both so social media sites, um, a few years ago actually. So person B um, is my best friend. You might as well say B for best. Um, He's been my best friend since childhood. Um, we did everything together all the time. Uh, we shared the same interests, you know, in, in music, in sports, uh, television. Um, so, you know, we were best friends, but unfortunately we, we went for a long period of not talking. So, um, he was one of the first people to have indicated to me that, that I showed signs of, of mental illness. Um, and I cannot stay how, I can't say how much I regret not uh, talking to you all those years. Uh, we have begun to reconnect uh, lately. Um, and this was awesome uh, because it broke the ice of, of, of not talking for so long. So, person C, uh, we've also been friends since childhood, um, but basically we were both caught up in school and in work um, to talk very often. Um, the last time we actually talked in person, uh, it was a tough time for his family, uh, which I won't get into uh, very much. Um, we, we tried reconnecting. Um, hanging out. Um, we played cards one night, um, which is something that the four of us would, would always do, like in school and, and just with our free time. Um, so, you know, I relate to this person because he, you know, he does his best uh, to be successful with, with school and, and with work. And, you know, that might have come between us, but I don't resent him in any way. 
I think he's a great guy still um, because that's something I do as well and it's not something I'm mad at him for. So um, hopefully we can find a way to reconnect uh, over social media eventually. Okay, person D, um, we were good friends in high school and then we became closer friends through uh, work. We actually had uh, the same summer job together. And we basically, we went from being just like partying buddies um, who always hung out to being real good friends. Um, unfortunately, uh, we got in a fight over a girl uh, and it, it did become a physical fight. Um, and that is something I'm so sorry about. Um, I want to tell you, and I think you know who you are, uh, that I am sorry for the reason that we fight. I am 100% over it. Um, I would never do anything to harm you in any relationship. Um, and what I want more than anything else is to bury the hatchet, say I'm sorry, and I want for you to, to friend me on social media. Um, because we've gone for too long without talking, and I just wanted to get that off my chest. Um, I'm not making any excuses, but I was in a tough spot at the time. Um, I broke up with my girlfriend and I then would go online and try and talk to old friends. Um, so in doing that, I, you know, things would get opinionated. Um, when I would talk to somebody about somebody else, um, at least one other friend would join in. And then it became basically an open forum instead of a one-way conversation. And the original conversation was basically made into a chat room online. And you have to realize this was before Facebook, so it was a lot different then. Um, so basically there was the taking of sides. And when you type something, um, it gets interpreted the wrong way sometimes. and. It, Typing something is a lot different than, than talking it out. And that's, that's why I chose to make this video, is to basically get it off my chest. And we did talk for a while after the whole thing, um, but we, we basically, I think, talked through our job. We, we talked through work. So we couldn't sit down and, and converse about this very much. We were kind of... Um, forced to uh, move on, I think. So, um, I want to just tell you again, I am sorry for the whole thing, um, and I want more than anything for you to accept my fr friend request on social media and, and uh, still be friends with me uh, on social media. So, um, I'm going to wrap up there, and I could go on um, naming other people. Uh, I could go with E, F, G, H, I, J, um, and so on, but I won't do that because I don't want to say things that offend anybody. Um, and, you know, I, I won't use real names here, but I think you, I think you all know, um, I think you all know who you are. So um, that that concludes the video. Uh, I hope you I hope people will send me your feedback, uh, comment, and continue to view my videos. I really appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.